ever wanted to filter two different pivot tables at the same time without losing your mind? You're not alone. You can do it with a slicer. By the way, a slicer is just a fancy filter. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to sync slices between multiple pivot tables in Excel without manually toggling each one. It's simple once you get to see it, but surprisingly powerful, especially if you're building dashboards for people who will absolutely mess it up if they have to filter things manually. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna cover two examples of how we can use a slicer to filter out pivot tables, two separate pivot tables. So let's go with the first one. This is gonna be an example where we're gonna use a slicer to filter out two pivot tables, but the data source is the same. So let's say for example, our data source is this, and this is just one table, and we're gonna turn this into a pivot table. So we'll go to the insert, pivot table, let's put it onto an existing worksheet here. And we'll put it here and click okay. We'll put product ID here, and then we'll put them out here. And let's put, and let's make another pivot table from this data source. All I need to do is just copy this pivot table. I'll just take the whole column here, Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And in this one, instead of using product ID, let's just put in date. Let's take out product ID, let's put in date, and I'll have these dates. So we only had January and February here. Press escape, let's not select that table. We can select any of these tables here to put a slicer on. I'll select this one. And under pivot table analyze up here, I'll put insert slicer. So it's gonna insert a slicer and let's pick it by the region. I'll click on region, click okay. And we have our region here. And this slicer is connected to that table, but you can also connect this slicer to another table. So let's see if it works first for this table. Click on east, you can see the numbers change, but nothing changes here. With the slicer still connected, you can see the slicer menu here, go to report connections. And right now it's connected to pivot table two. Click on pivot table one, it's connected to this one now. Click okay. And just to double check that we have selected just east, click on the pivot table here. Let's put in region under the rows. Everything east is here. Click on north, that's also selected. If we wanted to double check here, let's click on that. We'll put region here. And let's remove the days here. We'll remove one of the, one of, we'll remove one of the items because it's too much. If I expand it, it's gonna be too much here. So click on the plus button to expand. You can see north is here, click on south, and we have south selected for both. So this is how we use a slicer to filter out separate pivot tables. But these two pivot tables are coming from one source. What if they came from different sources? Let's see how that works. In this example, I've got two different ranges of data and they're gonna be different tables. And that's gonna be, and this is gonna be a pivot table. This is gonna be a pivot table. But we have to have something that kind of joins these two. And we're gonna create a third table that's just the unique values of this. So I'm gonna bring in one of these here, Control C to copy. Control V to paste, and also bring in this, just in case, Control Shift, down arrow, Control C to copy. Let's go to the very bottom here. Control down arrow to get to the very bottom. Let's paste what we copied here. Control V to paste. Go back up, Control up arrow. And here, let's get just the unique values. Select that entire column, go to data, and remove duplicates. It's gonna remove my duplicates. I do have a header here. Click the checkbox, click OK. Click OK here, and we just have our four regions here. So I'm gonna turn each one of these into a pivot table. Go to the first one here, go to Insert, Pivot Table, from Table and Range. Excel's smart enough to look at the boundary of this and select all this as the pivot table data. Let's put this into a new worksheet, but the important thing is to add this data to the data model. And this is the same for the other ones when I create it. So I click the checkbox there, click OK, and it's gonna put it into a new worksheet here, you can see. Let's put product ID here, and we'll put the amount here. Go back to sheet two here, and do the same thing here. Create a pivot table and put it into the other sheet. Insert, pivot table, existing worksheet, we're gonna put it into sheet three, but the important thing is add to the data model. So click on that. Let's find my location, click my arrow here, go to sheet three, and let's put it over here. Let's expand this again, click OK. And now we got to fill out our pivot table, do the same thing here, product ID, and then we're going to put amount. And the last thing we need to do is put this into a pivot table. So click on that, insert pivot table. Here we're going to put it in our sheet three. I'm just going to go to the existing worksheet here and put in the area. We don't really need this table later on, but I'm going to put it here just for a placeholder and add this to the data model. Click on that checkbox, click okay. Now we have it there. What we can do here is right click that, 
and add a slicer. So this slicer is giving our filter. And if I just put the region here, you can see what the slice, how the slicer works. Click on East, only East shows up. But then how do we make this slicer affect the other tables? We have to connect it together. So there's two steps to make a connection. One is where you have to make the connection in the data model. That's why we clicked the checkbox for data model earlier. And the second is to make a connection with the slicer and these two tables. So let's do the first thing. And we're gonna go and make a connection between this pivot table and the other pivot tables. Go to data, go to data model, manage data model. And here we can see a representation of the different tables that we put into the data model. Let's click on the diagram view. You can see now that they are separate. There's no connection. They're just separate islands of tables. I'm going to move this down here, move this down here. And we have our bridging table. And this is the pivot table that is going to make the connection between both of these. Click on the region here, hold the mouse button, and connect it to the region here in this range. Do the same thing for this one over here. And we can see we have a one to many relationship here. So now there's a relationship between those pivot tables in the data model to each other. And with that bridging pivot table as the connector. So close this, X out to close that. And now we're gonna go into the slicer and make the connections. So this is part two of it. Let me clear this just to make sure that we can make a good example. With the slicer object that is selected, we have our slicer menu here, click on that. Report connections, click there. And now we'll make our connections to the other pivot tables. Click the checkbox there, click the checkbox there. They are connected. Click OK. And now if I click on East, everything changes here. Click on North, everything changes here. To double check that, let's bring in the regions to the other pivot tables. And we have this table selected. Let's put in the region down here to the rows. You can see North is here. Let's click our other pivot table and do the same thing. Bring region down just to double check. It works. Click on South. We have South here, we have South here, we have South here. So now we have a slicer that can filter out other pivot tables. We don't need this pivot table anymore. So select that column, right click, delete. It's still in our data model, but it just doesn't show up in our sheet. So we can, because this is here now. And our slicer here is used to filter it now. So we have West and click on that. So I don't need these anymore. I'm gonna remove them and click on that table, remove the region there. So I can use my slicer now to affect these two separate tables, which come from two separate data sources. Boom, two pivot tables, one slicer, zero drama. And if you like that, toss me a like and subscribe so you don't miss the next Excel shortcut. And if you want deeper Excel hacks, drop a comment below. I've got plenty more where this came from.